This video is for my friends because I always try to tell them what my method is for what I call free writing. And I've even written about it in my ebook on failure. This, this method is based on Morning Pages, which is very popular. It's a book by Julia Cameron called The Artist's Way. And a lot of people know about it, but almost none of my friends do. And if I try to explain it to them over text message, it doesn't really work so well. So just to give you some context, here's just a, a little bit, a few of my notebooks that are filled. I have a probably a double, double this stack and then moved over to another stack. A lot of notebooks filled. I'm not saying this to, to brag about how many notebooks I fill up with garbage because that would defeat the whole point of the whole exercise. But it's just to show you my method is involving these moleskin notebooks that come in a pack of three. I just took to using them. This is a gridded gridded paper is a notebook in progress gridded paper my handwriting is is mostly illegible to outside world i i would imagine i will probably still um pixelate that when i when i um edit this video but the the benefit to it is really it's probably the the cheapest form of therapy I think someone could find because from what I understand in therapy people go and the therapist uh, they talk uh, they ask the the patient questions and they they sort of sit there and talk and that's one part of the whole thing is figuring out sort of what's going on in your world. The other part is is it directly links over to something like, in my case, maybe making music or something where you're trying to train the brain to stop censoring itself, which can be described as the ego is our best word for it. And it's always telling us like, uh, Stop it! Like, are you sure you want to do this? Don't write. It's it's um, it's not going to be helpful. Don't bother. And it because ideally, from what I understand, is the ego would prefer that you sort of sit on the couch and anything very close to to primal comfort. So Netflix is a good a good match for the ego. Snacks all these sorts of things. Whatever you do when you procrastinate is, from what I understand, the ego at work. So so I'm gonna show you how, how I work on this. And it's I usually do this in the morning. It's sort of like fitness. One of the big items that I have, this is a, actually a metronome by Korg. And it has a, timer mode on it that I set to 10 minutes and it, it goes and it'll make a beep when it's done. You can use your phone as a timer, but I I try to avoid that because I don't want my phone around when I'm doing this. And I, I, I lately I try to go to extra lengths to remove the phone entirely. The other thing that might be helpful is loose leaf paper. So this is a classic yellow pad. And in 10 minutes using this method, you should be filling up at least one of these pages. The, the morning pages method by Julia Cameron, she would say write three, three pages of this length in the morning and that would probably take 
more like 15 minutes or 20 minutes, I don't know, but I just found 10 minutes was enough. And so when I, I'm gonna flip the camera, I'm, I'm gonna go off of camera and I'm going to show you on the computer because my handwriting is, is messy and I, it's a little awkward to film it that way. So I'll, sh I'll show it with typing. You can actually do it with typing and that's totally valid too because the it's it's doesn't really some people say that the the pen and the paper is um, a direct link to the you know subconscious or something but i think typing works just fine it's portable um you're not leaving a a record of of all your thoughts everywhere like you do with paper um and that just brings me to one other point. So I mentioned the moleskin booklets. They, mine don't necessarily, they're not filled with free writing passages. They're mostly journal entries. But I, I also like to be, I like to pick out different pens. Um, I've tr I mean, I've tried different pens. The One of the best ones I've found so far is this one by Pilot uh, called High Tech Point V5 Grip. You have to find, you have to go to the stationery store and, and find the best one for you because um, I think the pen is important. These are, I think you call these gel, um, roller ball. They might be called gel pens. I don't, I don't know the exact name. I don't think there's a ball in there. I don't know the name, but you can see what I'm showing you. It flows better and I just, you know, those cheap ballpoint pens from when you were in school, I find they they just don't feel very good. They're I think they're meant to be economical or something. And I don't I'm not into calligraphy fountain pens. This works for me and I would say if you do if this does interest you, you know, pick around for the, what kind of paper you like, what kind of pen, or if you want to use the computer, that that's fine too. So I'm going to flip this off and head over into the the Mac. All right. So this is Apple Notes. August 9th, 2021. You ideally you will just write. <laughs> that is the point here. So I could start when once you start writing, you're not supposed to stop. And I'll just say, I'll give you an example of. So today is Monday, and I went to get some groceries. I bought some salad as well as cashews. Nuts are really expensive these days or possibly any day. That's the nature of nuts. So if I just stopped writing, I can now um, go into a, a trance and I will, I will, who knows when I'll come out of it. <laughs> so the the key is you have to say you have to keep the rhythm going by doing something like i am writing today i am writing today i don't let the pen stop and i don't let my ideas hold up for anything and as you write that you will go bam you will now know to write what you were maybe thinking of is um i'm having some real issues with this project. It's stuck in its tracks and I have to figure out how to get it done. So, or you might say, I'm really annoyed with X person these days because they have let me down on all accounts and then you might go on about this person and it doesn't matter what the the topic is or the the 
content of the entry. It just matters that you train yourself to keep writing because, as I said before, when you stop, which I did up here, you, if you stop writing, you are now letting the other system take action, which is the thinking mind. And you want to go above the thinking mind. And it's a form of you're doing work, but you're doing it from a place of freedom. It was the best description I have. I mean, there's the term being and presence, which, which Eckhart Tolle talks about a lot. Being, you, know, you hear that in other other writers as well. You, you're doing something, but you're you're doing it from a place of being. But when your pen stops and you go into the the thought bubbles, you're now in a place of of thinking. And that you do all the time, anyways, and that's when the critic shows up and says, uh, I don't think you should be writing here. Don't like what's happening. You're, you're getting too much in touch with, with uh, possibly your soul is maybe one way I can describe why the ego might not like this exercise. But you'll, you'll find, if you try it out, especially, you know, I recommend pen and paper, you try it out and you try it many days, not just one time and give up. You give it a, a good shot and you will, you will, it, it could very well, I won't say you will, it could very well help with, with your projects, with if you're working on music, uh, art, anything really, any creative work, any, any, anything I think it is very helpful for. And that's why I wanted to explain my method and, and show a bit about how it works.